Hello everyone, this is Tons Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi uh, and the Legend of the Ten Rings uh, Xaling, uh, which is uh, Shang-Chi's sister. Uh, so yeah, here's the front for you. So we get the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings logo there. Xaling, or Xiling, I mean. Uh, just let me know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> um, and then Marvel Legends logo on top. You get the Shang-Chi uh, logo there that is on the suit. Here's the side art there of Xiling, or Xiling. Uh, and then you get the Shang-Chi logo on the bottom there. Uh, and then here's the Mac of, oh, with the art, same art. And if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. Marvel Legends logo on top. Um, and then uh, here's the build of fear which is Mr. Hyde. Uh, which we already did, um, Shang Chi. Uh, well, I keep forgetting his name. Oh my god, Wen Wu, uh, Xiling, which we're doing now, Death Dealer, uh, Civil Warrior, which we already did, and then the AI Iron Man. Same box art there on the other side, and here's the bomb with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here she is out of the packaging here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get Mr. Hyde's torso, which we'll go over once we build them. And then we get this, uh, her little weapon here, which is a rope with a little grapple there at the end. Nice red there. It's kind of like a soft plastic, kind of reminds me of a rope. Uh, it's not a single string, but I guess if you want to, you can unravel it if you want. I'm not gonna do that. Get that little red grip there. Or I don't know what you call it. It reminds me of a grapple. It's kind of like the scorpion thing where he shoots the thing out of his wrist and he says, get over here. So yeah, there's that. And then we get five extra hands. So we get two. Oh wait, do we have two? No, we only got one of the holding hands here. And then we get two fist hands. And then we get two like pinching hands. Kind of looks like she's doing like the mark, mark, mark thing. Uh, and then we get uh, two like, I guess running hands or like the wood chopping hands, I guess you could say. Um, and yeah, uh, but besides that, that's all we got for the accessories here. So let's go over Xiling here, if I'm saying that right, hopefully. So the head sculpt is really good. Uh, you get the bangs here for her nice black hair. Uh, chops off right after like right on the neck basically middle of the neck so yeah that looks good get the brown out. i think they're black eyes facial facial expression looks good she looks pretty serious like she did in the trailer uh, i like the outfit for this uh figure uh you get the nice black detailed lines here really crisp and it stops right there uh, I don't know if it got chipped or something. You get more thick lines here. Here's the back with some more of those thicker lines. I like that design there on the shoulder, I meant on the neck piece there. And you get those like shoulder cut off lines there, like how Shang Chi does here. Kind of it looks basically like Shang Chi's, except he has that symbol there. Um, and then they also have that little skirt piece here from behind which is pretty cool. And you get like dress pants here and you get like the tennis shoes, black, nice black tennis shoes. And they're pretty wide, so they'll, she'll definitely stand up pretty nicely. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, and then you get these nice four crisp lines here at the sleeves. But yeah, and you get that nice, tre uh, the seams here down the side of the pants. Uh, but besides that, let's go over the articulation. So her head could go down that far, up that far. It's a double ball joint. Uh, she can go uh, to uh, pivot. Ugh. What am I trying to say? She can look, look left and right. Uh, some pivoting here for her head. She can go all over the place here. Uh, her shoulders can move out past 90 degrees. Single jointed elbows, sadly, but they go past 90 degrees, which is nice. Uh, they can swivel, uh, pivot, or swivel i mean what am i saying wrist can hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation there she has a diaphragm joint so she can go forward just that far backwards a little bit she can go side to side here 
360 rotation around there. Her legs could kick out that far. Forward, that far. Backwards, just a little bit. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. Uh, nope. Oh yeah, by the way, pinless joints for the knees here. That's nice. Ankles can hinge down that far. Uh oh, now it looks like it's stuck there. There we go. Up that far, nice ankle pivot. But yeah, I think this uh, figure is awesome. Uh, I got her posed up here like, where's my spaghetti? Uh, <laughs> I, I just figured out what that, sim uh, that hand uh, pose there was when I was saying like, uh, what was it? Like the talking hand thing, but I just realized that it kind of looks like the the Italian hand that is like, where's my spaghetti? Or, um, but yeah, um, I love the sculpt of this figure. It looks really good. The articulation's pretty good. I wish they had the double jointed elbows, but I mean, it goes past 90 degrees, so I'm fine with that. I just don't want the joints to fall off, like what happened to Silver Sable that I had. Um, but yeah, um, but I can't wait for the movie to come out. Um, and yeah, but besides that, recommend getting these figures. Um, and yeah, uh, make sure you check out my Twitch, the Hunter Collector. Um, I've been playing Warzone for the past two days now. Um, and then also uh, some GTA. So make sure you check that out and also Uno. Um, the Twitch is the Hunter Collector and that's all I've got.